Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathways series. Today, we'll look at medications useful to treating asthma. Asthma medications play a central role in your asthma treatment plan. It's important to know what they do and when to take them. Different asthma medications do different things. Some reduce inflammation, some prevent asthma symptoms, some interrupt an allergic reaction, and some relieve coughing and wheezing. Inhaled quick relief bronchodilators. These short acting inhalers relieve symptoms by relaxing muscles of the airways. Use this inhaler at the first sign of symptoms. If your doctor tells you to, you may use this before exercise to prevent symptoms. Your doctor may refer to these as short acting beta agonist medications or quick relief medications. Long acting bronchodilators. These help reduce bronchospasm and are usually taken two times a day. They are often used with inhaled corticosteroids and they do not relieve sudden asthma symptoms. You need to take these medications even when you don't feel like you have asthma symptoms. Your doctor may refer to these as long acting beta agonist medications. Inhaled anti-inflammatory corticosteroids. These treat inflammation in the lungs. They are taken daily using an inhaler or nebulizer to help maintain asthma control each day. Inhaled corticosteroids are not related to anabolic steroids, which are synthetic versions of testosterone and sometimes used to build muscle. Inhaled corticosteroids have fewer side effects than oral corticosteroids. They are safe and they are an important part of asthma therapy. Your doctor may refer to them as ICS. Oral corticosteroids. These reduce airway inflammation and decrease mucus in your airways. They are given as pills prescribed to treat an asthma flare for usually no more than five to seven days. Talk with your doctor about the risks of severe side effects, especially if prescribed for long-term use. Oral corticosteroids are not related to anabolic steroids. Your doctor may refer to them as OCS. Long-acting muscarinic antagonists. These open your airways for about 24 hours and reduce the risk of an asthma flare. Taken daily, they are often an add-on medication, meaning they are combined with inhaled corticosteroids or a long-acting bronchodilator and ICS combination. Inhaled combination medications. These are a combined inhaled corticosteroid and a long-acting bronchodilator. They treat both airway inflammation and reduce bronchospasm. They are used as directed as a maintenance medication, but they won't relieve a sudden asthma flare. Leukotriene modifiers. These block the action of leukotrienes that cause asthma symptoms. Taken as a tablet, they reduce inflammation and tightening of the airways. They do not relieve a sudden asthma flare. Side effects may include sleep problems or mood changes. Talk with your doctor if these occur. Biologics. These are a new class of medications for people with moderate to severe asthma. They target specific cells and pathways to reduce allergic inflammation linked to asthma. Biologics are typically given by injection or IV in a doctor's office. In some cases, they can be taken at home. There are new medications all the time. Ask your doctor about biologics. What should you discuss with your doctor about taking asthma medications? When your doctor prescribes an asthma inhaler, ask for a demonstration on how to take it correctly. Your doctor may suggest a spacer or valved holding chamber to help the medication get to the lungs, especially helpful for children. 
You can clean your metered dose inhaler once a week by removing the cap and canister from the mouthpiece and running warm water through the mouthpiece for about 30 to 60 seconds. Allow to air dry. Dry powdered inhalers should not get wet, but can be cleaned with a dry clean cloth. Asthma medications can prevent and treat your asthma symptoms that help you feel better. Always ask for help if you don't understand your asthma medication. Join us for another Patient Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.